Welcome back to our little starter island for the civilization of Harappa in humankind. We are just playing this through and in good old fashion I just press the space bar to continue the game like I was playing Crusader Kings because I have been playing too much Crusader Kings in my life. Well, is there really such a thing as too much Crusader Kings? I don't think there is. Uh, either way, we have taken control of the island whole. We are just kind of waiting to attach these little territories here. We have no competition whatsoever around here and there's no seafaring yet, so we can't go meet anyone to be a competition to us. Let's see, what do we build? We could go for the Lighter for Lighthouse of Alexandria, but I don't think yet. We earn enough food, industry could be better, money could be better, science could be better. <clears throat> so let's check this out real quick. I think we go a little bit industry. I think we go a little bit industry. Oh, we haven't actually built any industry yet. That's one of the reasons why I build these uh, walls, because other than in some similar games, the walls actually grow with the city and don't stick at the same point in time where you built them first. So you better see what actually is part of the city because it's automatically kind of generating these holdings on the tiles because all tiles are pretty much used. Or anyway, the tiles that are directly connected, I'm not entirely sure there. So they get infrastructure put on them. And I really quite like that. But it sometimes gives a wrong impression of what you're actually building on and what you have already built or what you haven't built. Ooh, what do we have here? Pressing matters. Every year, the great population of our empire contended in their essential needs, clamor for more and more tit uh, titillating news stories. It has become clear that should you choose, these stories can help shape public perceptions. So let's see. Uh, freedom of speech, which gives us cost for enacting and cancelling civics. Or propaganda preventing any empire revolution. Huh. Wow, that's put wow that, that pushes it into authority real, real hard. I don't think I want to go the auth auth authoritarian or authorian route let's go a little bit more toward liberty if we lose opinions can't be heard people might end up believing whatever ridiculous things the government says uh we lose a little bit of stability but we gain some other thing which i already forget because i listened to the guy telling us about why free speech is actually quite useful all right so let's check what we have i'm, I'm still looking for embark uh, embarkment embarkation but Oh, really seeing it. Let's get ourselves some stone walls. With five farmers' quarters, this one city must have more farmers than most empires. That's such a cool little flavor text being pushed into our ear canal there. What is an encampment? A non hostile tribe who roams the surrounding wilds has settled in this sackable camp. I don't want to sack them. They can they can live there. We are peaceful. The Harapan people are peaceful. We build walls, not spears. <clears throat> right. Speaking of building, we're waiting for the harbor to completely explode food production here. Going to be very fun. Uh, someone has gone into the classical era just now. We're already halfway through. Priests of nature. The large number of farming districts has led to a blossoming of knowledge of plants and health, sustenance and medicine. With the empire at peace and stable enough to support such a move, never before has there been a better time to make official the statues of our most learned brothers and sisters. Do you wish to found such a caste? Yeah, that sounds great. It gives us bountiful for three cities for 15 years. Which is great because we have exactly three cities, so... Uh, for 15 turns, not years, sorry, turns are more than one year. 
we get bountiful. How many turns is a year anyway? Or other way around. So we add five, seven, seven, one. Something along the lines of 20 something. I can't count. I'm bad at math. So you figure it out. Five, seven, seven, one down to five, four, nine. You have built the first harbor to construct yes. the vessels of the empire. Time to stock up on champagne bottles. Okay. Apparently we can support more population than we actually are allowed to have. So we might need to expand Harappa, but we can't. So we need to do something with these people here. Really. Okay. Okay, first they build these mines. You guys don't have anything to do. So, you're good on food, you're growing nicely. I want to push out to build money in the deserts, like the marketplaces out in the desert, up here where there's already money being made. So, I have to build kind of this snaky way. And what better way to snaky out there? Oh wait, no. We're losing some stability. Could build a fort. Let's build a fort. Somewhere. Here. Coastal fort. Sounds like a good idea. Researchers are idle. That's not good. Honestly, let's just click through all these. Doesn't really matter in which sequence we do these. This is my issue with games like this. Um, but it happens in Crusader Kings just as much, so I can't complain too loudly. Uh, is that I, I start just kind of clicking through things. I don't read them anymore because I feel like, oh, it doesn't matter at this point. It doesn't matter at this point. Oftentimes, it actually doesn't matter at this point, but... That's how it is. Okay, we have built the first harbor, so we should... Okay, we can build a fishmonger, giving us plus three money from that harbor too. <clears throat> so it's not just the amazing amounts of food that we should be getting. I'm not entirely sure if we are getting them. I think we are. Doesn't tell us. Uh, we definitely need some walls here. Let's build actually all these little improvements here. So let's get them some walls. I don't think we're doing any productivity districts. <clears throat> Actually, we don't have all that many districts at all, do we? These are not, these are infrastructure, these are districts. Yeah, we have no, no districts whatsoever. We haven't built a single one yet. But this seems to be uh, in works here yeah we're planning a food district which on second thought doesn't make any sense with the harbor supplying us so well so it's probably better but there's so much food options here my god mm. I don't know. I, I can't be... I can't make up my mind here. Maybe we go just like... That here. What is this anyway? Rary. Could use a garrison as well. This would make for a nice garrison. Okay. The human engine. The Empire has made impressive strides in becoming a building of powerhouse. The envy of the world. Now, in, and now, though, to maintain its momentum, you must ensure that you have a reliable stream of workers who will work tirelessly on your great construction projects. From where should we get them? 
So we could have criminal uh, slaves giving us bonuses to commons quarter. That's something we haven't unlocked yet, I don't think. Uh, or bonus population per ransack. I think we'll go for criminal slaves. Don't start altering law enforcement practices just to get your production quotas filled. Plus 25% on capital. Ah, oh, that's... Get a small council going. And I don't... I still don't think we're gonna do anything about the army conscription one, because... We don't really need them. Oh, another star. We're also very close. With an Estheti star. Influence is almost where we need it, and we're earning a good amount. It's all these luxury resources that are helping us go hard here. They're really important. Do not underestimate luxury resources. Trust me on this one. This is what, like the one thing in this game that you should not underestimate is the luxury resources and the strategic resources. They are so powerful. Without them, you will feel how you are worse off than the rest of you, of the players on the board. You get to feel it. Okay, I think we already have one of those. We built it here. So they are good for food. Everyone is good for food. But they are losing stability hard for something. I think we attached a district. So let's give them an aqueduct to help there. In the crowded slums of the populous city of Harappa, the citizens are falling sick and mere prayers aren't being answered by the gods. Many streets reek of urine where citizens take their convenient tinkle while the cesspit of human waste sends the putrid stench across half the city. It is time to invest in sanitary measures. So... It will cost, but only a functioning sewer system can prevent these maladies. It will cost us. Or, we ignore it. But I feel like ignoring it is a terrible idea. So we'll we'll take the hit on our income. And take care of it. So we have another city cap. Meaning we could form one more of these into a city. But I don't want to do that. I want to leave it for when we expand onto a different continent at some point. But we could... We're already building something to help with the stability loss here. So we might as well attach. But we need to think real quick because... these Okay, these guys can attach either that or that. So it doesn't really matter. We can attach either way. And if we attach this, we have this nicer going branch here. Very good. And this allows us to exploit these resources as well. So we will definitely work on that. Get the resources going. Ah, oh, we can't do anything about this yet. That's fine. Should probably work on attaching this over here for the T. Plus four stability per T on all cities. That's so insane. That's so strong. Uh, but we're losing stability hard. So I think we will build a garrison as well to help it a little bit. Do we have a worthless spot? This looks very green, but it is actually worthless. Like There's nothing going on on there. We can just build it here without losing out on anything big. Let's see. Once we have a garrison, we can build a city watch to help it even further. So it's a good thing to build a garrison at some point, even if you're not warlike and need defense defending. Okay, we have earned, earned the seven era stars and may now choose a new culture for the next era. Let's check real quick who already is in this era and we are absolutely alone. So we could go with any civilization that we find with the Khmer, the Teutons, the Ghanaians, that's cool, Ghana, uh, the Franks, good old Frenchmen, the Byzantines, the Aztecs, us of course. The Norsemen is now an option. Very good. Uh, the Umayyads. The, the Islamic lords of the Middle East. The Mongols. The English. Uh, but as I said, we're going to 
just transcend through the ages as the Harapans. The game told us to figure out what we could have been. Wisdom and technical innovation from earlier eras bring humankind new knowledge, and we immediately use it to find new ways to kill each other off. Greater empires build more powerful armies, but brute strength may be defeated by superior innovations. It is brains versus brawn, with ever richer cities as tempting spoils for the victor. While the Harapans certainly had markets, they left few remains. Please show us what they might have done. Uh, if you keep transcending, you always get the same message, uh, which is a little bit... Uh, because if you would switch into a different civilization on changing era, you would get new messages, but that's okay, I think. Okay, um, I think you can easily tell which are profitable or not. So if there are some buildings on the tile, you get something. It says here, no, it says here, exploited terrain as well. I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. Uh, right, you guys don't have anything to work on right now. I said I wanted to build up here to start building some money earning industries. So we will build another production center there. Though so we need to make sure we don't lose sight of stability. Do we have... Yes, the garrison is done. So we could also go ahead and build these two. The city watch. Uh, which will be upgraded into a police force. And the... The aqueduct, so we can get some stability back up. It's it's rising, it is, but uh, it isn't ideal. You can help offset it as well by stationing troops, I believe. So if we put some, let's put some soldiers here in Huariganga. That should help us with stability a little bit. And since they're just kind of running in circles anyway, might as well put them to good use. I haven't really gotten any military innovations yet. Like we can't upgrade our units. They're all more or less the same level. What's this? Wait a moment. That was mine, wasn't it? They settled here. I should have destroyed them. Come to think of it, we could actually try and destroy them. But they're kind of stronger than us. So uh, we'll just go ahead and pay ourselves into their hearts and minds and integrate them eventually. I've never seen that. I thought that was ours. I thought that was attached to a city. But maybe it wasn't. We'll see. Okay, we just have a new innovation, so maybe there's some armies now that we can upgrade. Yes, there they go. We can upgrade these guys into mounted horsemen. Horsemen tend to be mounted. It's smart. And these guys can become warriors. I think they could have been warriors for a real long time already. We have more armies. I do have an army tab over here somewhere. But I like checking out the world. We merge the armies. He will just stand here. So if we check this out now. See, their stability is much higher. Uh, does it say? Let's see. Yeah, plus 10 stability from units. So you can help stability by just positioning some armies, which I enjoy. I, I like mechanics in games that allow me to very actively change how they work, what they do, how they affect me. I really enjoy that. Land and freedom. The empire is a vast glorious land of mountains and grasslands stretching countless leagues and full of wonders and mysteries. 
Over many generations, our people have subdued many of its uh, corners, but now we must ask the question, to whom do these lands truly belong? Don't we already have that? Okay, so we could um, have inherited land, so we could claim lands through money instead of influence. Sounds good. Or we get plus 10 food per number of attached territories on all cities, which, uh, you know, <laughs> it sounds like right up our alley. Uh, I think we'll go that way. Political connections determine the status of something as timeless as the land. Right, and the and the Harappans, we have been sharing food and and everything with each other for a long, long time. So I think it's only fair that we do it like this. Uh, we could attach this, and I think we can easily do that. We don't really lose anything in terms of stability. Well, not much anyway. Let's give them some walls, some barracks. Watch out. Let's build up a little bit of military infrastructure here. What are you guys working on? The maker's quarter still. Little graphical glitches like these are still here, but, you know, much is life with these types of games. I think we don't need stability. The capital usually is really stable, so let's upgrade almost everything we can here, because why not? Why wouldn't we? Just really invest in our infrastructure. Oh yeah, okay. Our last... No, not our last tenant. Our next tenant. So let's see. Observe feast plus five food on harbor. No, it's not bad. Reject luxury. War support when demanding relations. <laughs> Minus 25% on an acting civic on Empire and cost of an acting civic. Science, money, stability. I think we, we are a, a people that enjoy being stable. So we will raise monuments. We also get combat strength. But the garrison stability is really what we're after. All right. A weave of iron and blood. In recognition of our elevated status to the world stage, a great artist has been accompanying you and our retinue as we travel the empire and beyond. Now, many months later, the artist and their team have completed a great masterpiece, a brilliant tapestry that stretches the length of the palace. In its embroidered scenes are depicted great glories, marvelous cities, and the people's adulation of our rule. How should such a marvel best be used? We can hang it, giving us some... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll hang it up. We don't really need the bonus. I mean, we could use the bonus. So, we'll build some units. We'll build some units. We'll build some ships. Go explore that way. And since they're like one turn each, we can also build some... Eh, let's, let's build a little bit of an army here. Why not? Your people see it as a place of safety and a symbol of power. Only your friends know of the extensive wine cellar. Okay, craftsmanship has been researched. It's all good. You guys don't have anything to do right now. You're doing well on stability. You have your garrison. You're doing okay on food. <laughs> what will we do with you? Let's get you some palisades going. These little tiny rock <laughs> walls that they carry around with them. That's not enough. 
We can also build some units here, but not yet. Yet. Might have to build a harbor at some point. Definitely worthwhile doing. Minus 10 stability. Plus 48 food, yeah. We definitely build it here. The first ship is a wonderful thing. Sadly for the crew, we're likely to see the first seasickness as well. Wow, that's a lot of influence. I think we need to war. We need to go to war here. So let's have them auto explore. I don't know if they are high seas worthy, but the game is going to tell us in a second whether or not. Yeah. If it remains longer on the high seas than it should, it's going to get lost. It appears the auto explore uh, accounts for this. So they kind of swam back for a second and then out. So I hope we don't lose this ship now, but we'll see whether or not we will. No, you see, they swim back and then they go kind of back out to try and get a little bit of uh, view. I like this. This is very smart. As a human player, I wouldn't even have thought of doing that, quite honestly. Okay, so we are building our army to take over to take over Mocha at some point. We, we already know that they have eight units, which is a whole lot. Um... They have a lot of horse, so we should build spears, really. Should build a lot of spearmen. And so we shall. Can't build this because we only have one copper and not two. One, two, three, four. Four spearmen. Maybe some more ships, too. This will bite into our profits, but that's okay. We might want to look into building garrisons right here on their borders to help us fight them, but it's uh, it's gonna be fine. We'll take this army and station it here. All our free roaming armies are gonna be brought back now. This one can stay where it is. Uh, we don't really have any free roaming armies anymore. <laughs> These guys will be brought here. And these guys are just kind of sailing around, finding us new areas to potentially settle. Um, these guys, can you embark? Oh yeah, they can embark now. Very good. So we can slither our way up here and claim these northern territories for ourselves. That's very good. Ah, okay, they found a little bit of a better way to go there. We'll do it. These guys are just going to wait here. Conquest has been researched. Outpost assimilation goes down in cost. We have already assimilated all our outposts, I believe. Yes. Oh, this is working. Just from an interface design perspective, I want to like, I want to point this little thing here out that I really like. If you click the button for any of these, the original turns into an X, so you know, okay, if I click this again, it closes. That is such a very cool little thing. I wish it had, it weren't black, because that kind of looks weird with the, with the color combination. I don't like the black here. Like, if they had just made it see-through, like the same kind of transparent way that you can see what is behind. That would be pretty neat. But that is smart. That is really smart interface design. You don't need it. You do not need to do this, but they did it. I like that. Okay, it, it constantly tells us that our ships are kind of lost, but they are not. Oh, we have found uh, Lake Baikal, which is another wonder of the world and it is over here and we will have it it will be ours 
and it will give us five influence, the ability on city or outpost, money on city or outpost, and that's really it. But it is ours, it will be ours. Soon. Soon TM. So these ships will kind of need to stick close to the coastlines. Uh, I doubt we're going to find all that impressive stuff here because as you can see there's beside the northern territories there's really nothing much. I'm not sure what this is because here we have some lines so there must be land here somewhere which these lines come from. Uh, but we'll see. Our ships will do their thing. Auto explore. They can't go south for auto exploring. I mean, they might hop over here and then sail around there, but here is where it stops. Like they can't, they can't swim down here. They would get lost. So let's see. Could they go this way around? No, we would have to. We will have to build our harbor over here and then build a ship from this side to go explore on that end. But they wouldn't get far either. Like down here, they can't go. So we would have to build a harbor here to potentially see what's over there. Or we just wait until we get bigger, better seafaring ships. But we can go here and we can find some lead. Oh, what? I don't think I've ever had lead. I wonder how long we could have done that already. And we just didn't. Let's see. So these guys will turn into a sheep. Battle for the mine. The great city of Harappa is bursting at the seams. Countless souls pressed within the city-tight borders. In the dense, squalid quarters, cases of madness are on the rise. Religious leaders contend that demonic forces are behind the afflictions. My god. Let's see. Uh, Yeah. Study. Persons with knowledge of medicine should aid the afflicted. We'll go that way. Because we have been using salves from nature and stuff for years. So why wouldn't we try and use that as well? You know, we have a more scientific approach. This city is so small in terms of what we built because our lands are just so rich. Look at all the rivers and everything just giving to our people all we ever would need. We don't need to expand. Uh, speaking of which, we need to move these guys off here. Otherwise, this can't build anymore. We'll move them here, so a city can re resume building stuff. Oh, actually, they had already been built. So we still have some potential for earning. Honestly, if we are going to go toward war, we might want to build an obelisk to the gods. Let's find some worthless bit of land where there's nothing going on. I don't think we have that in our main city area of influence. Oh yeah, we have it here. So there, we'll build a monument to the gods. And I think all the cities will help. Well, not you guys. That just doesn't help much. Okay, you guys are making landfall. Good stuff. And we'll put down an outpost. Do you have a suggestion game? Now let's figure it out then. Nine. Five and ten. Five and twelve. We best go here. But we'll attach it anyway, it's not going to be a city, so it doesn't matter too much. Ready for glory. These guys are here... ...to be our war efforts. And if I hover over an enemy army with one that isn't stationed, you get... Right? There you go. There you see a preview of what war is going to be like. And I'm, I'm looking forward to showing you that. Uh, we've been playing for a little longer than usually, so I'm going to cut it off here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you come around again. Like and subscribe, as, as the kids say. So, enjoy. Bye!